Hey there, fish hole friends. In this video, I'll be discussing and showing the best tiger barred tank mates. There's a lot of info here, so stick around a while. We'd like to invite you to subscribe if you find this video helpful. We at Fishful thank you yeah. for your support. If you're new here, welcome to Fishful TV. Tiger barbs are commonly known as little terrors. They have the reputation to pick and bully other fish, even themselves. In most cases, this is true. Even with themselves, they pick and bully each other finding out who's king of the pack. Tiger barbs are territorial. For such a small fish, they really do pack a huge punch. For the aquarium hobby world, these fish are known for beginner fish. But why, you ask? They are easy enough to reproduce and cheap enough to sell. In my own opinion, these fish shouldn't be classified as beginners. They are a beautiful fish, whereas you know have a temper problem. Fish keepers need to know some info on barbs if you want to be successful with them. I can go on and on in where they originate from, to what food they like, but let's stay on topic here. So far, we know tiger barbs can be picky towards their tank mates. Tiger barbs are very fast swimmers and like to play. Keeping this in mind, let's look at some mates that are compatible. While there are a lot of mates that can be compatible, let's take in consideration and look for 30 mates of similar water parameters, must be fast swimmers, and grow to be about the same size. Forget the fish that are smaller in size, long finned, slow swimmers, and need calm environments. Got it? Cool? Let's go. Number 1. The Cherry Barb Cherry barbs work well with tigers. They are a logical choice because to their peaceful personality, high tank mate tolerance, and love of the same water parameters. The vivid red color of these energetic schooling fish, which dash through the middle of the tank, is an added benefit. You shouldn't have to be concerned about interspecies bullying as they grow to be around the same length as your tigers. Cherry barbs want a tank that has a lot of greenery but also lots of open water for swimming. Number 2. Odessa Barb like tiger barbs, Odessa barbs need highly vegetated, slightly acidic waters. They are schooling fish that are comfortable exploring every level of the tank and are active swimmers. These fish have fantastic color and grow to the same adult size as your tigers. In order for Odessa barbs to feel secure, at ease, and content, keep them in groups of at least five. The Odessa won't likely nip at your tigers and vice versa. Feeding time is easy because the food requirements of these two animals are identical. To maintain them at their best, provide a healthy variety of foods. Number 3. Black Ruby Barb An attractively colored, resilient species from southern India is the Black Ruby Barb. Its native waters are slightly acidic and have extensive flora, just like the Tiger Barb. They are calm and less aggressive than tigers. If you keep them in groups of at least 8, they will be content to explore the bottom and middle levels of the tank on their own. Number 4. Koi Catfish Remember I said stay away from slow swimmers. The quarry catfish is an exception. When it comes to tiger barbs, the quarry should be used with caution because it is frequently suggested as the perfect inhabitant in community tanks. In this situation, the distinctive personalities of the barbs matter. Quarry are slow swimmers, even though their armor offers some protection. It's possible that your catfish will lose if your tigers start picking on it. For optimal results, keep your tigers in a suitable group in a big tank with four to six quarries. Number 5. Common Plecostomus Another armored catfish is a calm bottom dweller. Once fully grown, they may live with other semi-aggressive species and become fairly mm. territorial. These fish can survive in a wide variety of water conditions and are most active when your tigers are sleeping. The drawback is that they grow large and require a large tank, reaching lengths of up to 15 to 24 inches. Number 6. Siam's Algae Eater It makes sense to pair tiger barbs with calm bottom dwellers, and a Siamese algae eater is a prime option. This fish consumes algae and is quite active, constantly searching for its next meal. This species does not have a set group size need. Therefore, tank composition can be flexible. Generally, they should get along with them if you have the appropriate quantity of tiger barbs. They can grow to a maximum length of 6 inches, 15 centimeters. They also create a considerable lot of waste, so do not overstock. Number 7. Mollies. Mollies and tiger barbs can operate nicely together. Both animals have a tendency to be aggressive. Start with a sizable, well-established tank that has enough room for swimming in stable water conditions. Mollies require at least a group of four. Keep more female mollies than males at all times. Both species have been known to fin nip sometimes. To avoid giving the tiger barb an attractive target, pick the short fin molly variety. Number 8. 
Odocinclus. Odocinclus are little, docile bottom dwellers who get along with other fish in their aquarium and make an excellent cleaning crew. There are 20 distinct dwarf species to pick from. These armored catfish should be housed in a group of four to six so they have some protection in case your tigers become curious. They prefer the same kinds of water as your tiger barbs do. Number nine, sword tails. You wouldn't expect the sword tail to be on the list with a fin nipping species like the tiger barb, but they are compatible if a few requirements are satisfied. Make sure the tank is big first. Both species have a tendency to be temperamental and a small living area will make them more aggressive. Second, maintain the suggested group sizes. This will better each species to keep to themselves. Maintain a male to female ratio of one to four and restrict the number of sword tail males. Number 10, tinfoil barb. These huge, friendly fish can reach a length of 14 inches, 36 centimeters, and a group of at least six would require a large tank to support their active and quick swimming. Their high activity level is acceptable for the similarly active tiger barbs. Their water characteristics are compatible, and they frequently occupy the same water column spaces. Live plants and small fish are also edible to tinfoils. You run the danger of losing extremely young tigers if you introduce them to the tank. Number 11. The zebra loach, which was once common in western India, is now critically endangered. Zebras are a good size match for the tiger barb, measuring 3 to 4 inches, 7.6 to 10 centimeters, when completely developed. To exhibit their finest behaviors, keep them in groups of at least five. Smaller groups may result in violence. Zebras will alternate between hiding out and leisurely strolling along the tank's bottom. Number 12, yo-yo loach. It's one of the species of loaches that is more active. During the day, yo-yos move around and go across the entire water column, although they do keep to themselves. These little inhabitants of northern India and Nepal grow to a maximum length of 2.5 inches, 6.4 centimeters, as adults, but they still require a sizable aquarium to meet their space requirements. Keep them in groups of four to five people. Number 13, Bolivian Ram. It might seem like a poor idea to mix tiger barbs with a cichlid, yet the Bolivian Ram is quite peaceful. Keep it in a group of at least six. The same water conditions as the tiger barb are ideal for the three inch long, 7.6 centimeters Bolivian Ram, which prefers the bottom to middle parts of the tank. They enjoy swing just as much as barbs do. So if you can, use a bigger tank, the larger fins of Bolivian rams should alert you to any potential barb nipping. Number 14, Kole loach. Kole hide during the day and being active at night. This species is somewhat shy. To boost the confidence of your loaches, keep them in a group of at least three. When feeding, add sinking and floating foods to your fish meal at the same time, so barbs don't eat all the food. Kole loaches are prone to disease, so maintain good water quality. Number 15, red-spotted severum. Although severums are native to South America, they are domesticated to obtain their stunning color. This species combines well with your tiger barbs despite growing to a large size of 10 inches, 25 centimeters, since it is less aggressive and only becomes territorial while breeding. A tank size of at least 100 gallons, 379 liters, is recommended to allow enough room for each species and to incorporate a cave where your severum can take refuge. The Severum loves more acidic and softer waters, therefore keep the pH and hardness toward the lower end of the tiger's tolerance range. Yeah. So fishful friends, what do you think so far? We're halfway through the list. Here is where I ask you to subscribe if you've learned anything yet. But I already know you have, thanks for the support, and with your support makes it easier to create these videos. All right, you ready? Let's move on to the next on the list. Number 16, Platys. Platys typically go along well with tiger barbs. They need enough room to be healthy because they are energetic swimmers. Maintain a tank that is big enough to accommodate school sizes. Maintain the hardness at the lower end of the platys range where it crosses over with the tigers, even though the water parameters are a good fit. Keep your platys at a ratio of two or three females to one male. Number 17. Epistogramma dwarf cichlid. This genus contains around 90 species that have a length range of 0.8 to 3.1 inches, 2 to 7.9 cm. To best resemble the size of the tiger barb, select a larger species. Because they prefer the bottom of the water column, these fish don't have to contend with tigers over territory. Male epistogramma shouldn't be kept in the same tank with other males since they may get aggressive. Keep a bonded pair together or a male with a number of females. Number 18, Silver Dollar. 
With its sparkling scales, it belongs to the same family as the Perina. They have a maximum length of 6 inches, 15 centimeters, are larger than your tiger barb, and require at least 5. The tiger barbs may be used for fin nipping, however maintaining sufficient schools of each species should help. For the best silver dollar health, the water parameters for each species should not exceed a pH of 7.0. Happily, your tiger barbs thrive in a pH of 6.8. Number 19. Black Skirt Tetra the middle level of the tank is their preferred spot. These fish like a school of at least 5 and they can reach lengths of 3 inches, 7.6 centimeters, which makes them compatible with your tigers. These fish make great companions for your tigers because of their laid-back personalities. The irony is that while the black skirt tetra nips the fins of other long fin species, your tigers might find their own flowing fins to be enticing prey. See how people are interacting in the tank. Number 20. Red Tail Shark These fish thrive in aquariums and require lots of area to explore because they are aggressive swimmers. Similar to the Rainbow Shark, the Red Tail grows to a length of 6 inches 15 centimeters, and is best maintained alone unless you have large plans for the tank size. The Red Tail's territorial hostility will rise with any reduction in size. The Red Tail and Tiger Barb have similar water characteristics, but to guarantee that their ranges overlap, keep the Red Tail's hardness at the lower end of its range. Number 21. Rainbow Shark For optimal success, keep Rainbow Sharks as a single specimen or in groups of at least five. If keeping a group of these fish, estimate a 125-gallon tank to accommodate their 6-inch, 15-centimeters growth. Due to territorial disputes, refrain from keeping numerous males and don't keep them with fish that are similar to them like red tail sharks. Number 22. Clown Loach Because they are simple to care for, attractive, and a touch shy, clown loaches are a common fish for aquarium owners. <coughs> These fish thrive in 55-gallon or larger aquariums with plenty of hiding and exploring locations. They are happiest in groups of three or more. Clown loaches, also referred to as scaleless fish, should be handled delicately to maintain their health. Number 23. Rosy Barb The rosy barb, one of the larger barb species, is another schooling fish that thrives in tanks with a minimum volume of 30 gallons and groups of at least 6. These fish are notorious for eating nearly anything and are considered to be active and generally quiet when housed in groups. It should be noted that these fish have excellent jumping ability, so your tank must have a tight top to prevent these fish from jumping out. Number 24. Zebra Danios Zebra or striped Danios are non-aggressive schooling fish that should be kept in groups of six or more since they are small, energetic, and attractive. They must have a tank with a minimum capacity of 15 gallons, and it must have a tight-fitting lid to prevent them from jumping out. Number 25. Waramis These fish will swim together if they are housed in the same tank since they are calm and gregarious. Need tanks that are between 10 and 50 gallons depending on their size and species. Male fish may become aggressive against particularly colorful fish or other male fish because they view them as a danger. Tank mates who are significantly larger than these fish may prey on them. Number 26. Pictus Catfish The Pictus Catfish thrives in groups of at least five. This catfish is most active at night. These fish thrive in sandy substrate that resembles a river bottom and are excellent for keeping aquariums clean since they scavenge for leftover food. Due to the barbs on their fins, Pictus Catfish should be handled carefully to prevent harm to either you or them. It is best to put them in small plastic containers for tank cleanings. Number 27. Neon Tetras Neon Tetras are the best tiger barb tank mates you will ever come across because they give you a wide variety of sorts to look up to. These active fish only grow to a maximum size of 1.5 inches, which is quite little. Yet, they hardly ever intend to bother their tank mates. In addition to being admired for their non-territorial behavior, their distinctive appearance is also a plus. They are swift and physically fit enough to handle a tiger barb's antics. Number 28. Ember Tetra Ember Tetras are another well-liked aquarium fish, similar to Neon Tetras. Despite their diminutive size, they get along well with most aquarium fish. They are able to coexist with tiger barbs in the same tank, but you must keep a close eye on them for a few days. This kind of Tetra, like the Neon, is swift and dexterous enough to withstand the attack of the tiger barb. They only require a 10-gallon tank because they are smaller fish than the other species on the list. 
Number 29. Agassiz Cichlid Another epistogramma an excellent choice for a cichlid. Tiger barbs won't bother them or treat them as prey because they can grow to a maximum length of 3.5 inches. In keeping with that, the Agassiz Cichlid is not particularly aggressive, therefore your tiger barbs won't be attacked. You might wish to acquire a number of them at once because they are usually the most tranquil in larger groupings. Last but not least number 30. The Tiger Barb. Yeah, it's funny but people do ask how big of a school you need. Tiger barbs are the species to choose if you want one that won't spend its time hiding. These fish are aggressive swimmers that are eager to put on a show and will utilize every square inch of your tank. You should keep at minimum six tigers together. Depending on tank size, you can have a school of 100 or more. Well, that wraps up the common tank mates for the good old tiger barb. Like I said earlier, if you have learned anything here, consider subscribing. Check out some of our other videos, you never know you may just enjoy them. Stay safe and stay fishful. Bye for now.